I finally managed to get an appointment to see a dermatologist uh, tomorrow. So I'm kind of excited because my skin has gotten like really bad coming down to Nicaragua. Um, but it's probably because I stopped taking everything. Like I wanted to kind of just like detox my skin from just all the products and all the medications that I've been taking for the last year or so. So I figured I will stop everything and just use a bar of soap to wash my face, which is probably not the best idea, but my skin is just really bad. The texture of my skin, just everything, my pores are just like huge and large. So I figured I will see a dermatologist while I'm here. Because even though I saw a dermatologist before I left the States, I figured I should see somebody who probably is more experienced in seeing skin that are closer to my complexion and skin type than the person that I saw who is used to seeing all white ladies. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just hoping that they can help me because I just have really bad skin, really bad acne. I, I don't know what's going on with my skin, but I'm hoping that the person that I see tomorrow might be able to give me a plan on like what I need to do to help resolve some of these issues with my skin. So we'll see. Alright, I'm back from my dermatology appointment. I also want to get a massage um, because, you know, I went hiking the other day and I'm just super sore. But anyways, back to the information on dermatology appointment. Um, I saw the dermatologist today. She was good. She uh, made me feel um, like I was heard, which is something I feel like has not been happening when I go to these appointments in the States. The doctors talk to me for like, um, you know, a couple minutes. They ask me about the history, what I've used before. And then they just like look at my skin from, you know, arms length away, most of them. And then just tell me like, oh, we're going to do this. Um, never really asking my opinions or... Um, my buy-in on what treatment plan they want to do um, so I definitely felt like I was heard which was something that was important to me um, so for her she said that she wanted me to get some lab work done she wanted to check my liver function make sure I'm not pregnant of course um, she wants to do a, a BHC, which is equivalent to a CBC um, in the U.S. and check my liver panel. She also wants to check my hormone levels, but because I already had my period for this month, I'm going to have to wait until next month, which I'll be back in the States. So I'll have to have that done in the States um, to see what's going on because she said that at my age I should not be experiencing the severity of acne that I'm experiencing um, so it's kind of abnormal for um, someone in my age range to be having this trouble and having this trouble for such a long time she was surprised that I had seen a dermatologist right before I came to Nicaragua um, and the dermatologist did not recommend isotretinoin because she said that my acne is considered severe, so that is the course um, of treatment that she would recommend and she would think that most dermatologists would recommend that um, for me. So, um, she wanted to know if that was something I would be interested in. It. Um, she feels like the benefits do outweigh the risks, um, in terms of causing like severe dry eyes, um, dry lips, um, 
which is something I experienced already. So I just have to continue to um, use the treatments that I use for those. Um, and then also, I such I know and does have this risk that comes with, um, you know, birth defect if you do get pregnant while on it. So a birth control is recommended um, to prevent pregnancy. Um, she was not sure how long I would need to be on the medication. She said that's going to be based off of the lab work that I get back. So um, I'm going to do a lab in the morning. They are fasting labs. So I'll go in the morning to get my lab work done. And then she gave me a skincare regimen that she wanted me to do. Um, the She wanted me to wash my face in the morning with this. And then do a spot treatment with this medication. I don't know if it's clear. And then um, she wanted me to use this for sunscreen. And she wants me to put it on at 7 Eleven and 3 um, every day. And then use this for hydration um, in the morning and in the evening. So, in the evening, she just wants me to wash my face, put on the. Um, um, this, the cream for or the gel for hydration um, and that's pretty much it um, for the lab work tomorrow I just want to show you guys it's gonna cost me $48.16 the appointment costs $50 for the lab I mean for the doctor's visit and then it costs a um, hundred and one dollars for the four um, products that I showed so I can say definitely affordable um, um, a lot cheaper than it would have been if I was in the States so um, I definitely appreciate um, being able to afford being um, able to visit the doctor and um, being able to afford healthcare while I'm here in Nicaragua.